left in the world with nothing else to lose. What will stop him this time? A challenge was accepted to duel to the death. If he wins, he's free. And if he dies, he's free. One message for his enemies? Keep your doors locked. John Wick is back. Yeah. If you are here for John Wick 4's trailer, have your seats and fasten your seatbelts as we drive right back to 2014 when John Wick first hit our screens. No one believed we'll be talking about a fourth chapter, but honestly, the first chapter immediately made us addicts. We just can't get enough of Keanu Reeves. Seven years later, we found ourselves on the edge of our seats watching John Wick come back for the third time. And of course, the end part left us an invisible note. John Wick will return. Although the COVID-19 pandemic pushed the release date back a year, John Wick is right here as if he never left, action-packed just the way you love it. The full-length trailer of John Wick Chapter 4 was released on November 10, 2022, giving us the show of violence, impressive ensemble, quest for vengeance, and of course, fully packed with action. The final trailer for John Wick 4 was released by Lionsgate on February 16, 2023. It had to be released that time in honor of a promotional event called Wick Week. The trailer, at 1 minute 30 seconds long, shows much gunplay as expected, a lot of sword plays not really expected or not expected at all, and every type of violence you can imagine with the hitman at the center of it all. Get ready to see your top actors, the likes of Scott Adkins, aiding John Wick in the battle. Of course, no one is taking Keanu Reeves' place as John Wick, whose world will not be completely defined without the role of Ian McShane. For the fourth time, we would be seeing McShane with his incredible acting skills. McShane is reprising the role of Winston, owner of the New York Continental Hotel, who we last saw putting a hole in Wick's chest. One thing is clear, he meant to shoot Wick, but did he mean to kill him? That's almost unlikely, while well, you can choose to see it in different ways. Whatever that was about will definitely be revealed in the fourth chapter. Other familiar faces confirmed for the fourth entry are Lance Reddick, who will reprise the role of Karen, the Continental Steely Concierge, and Lawrence Fishburne, who will once again play the underground assassin leader, the Bowery King. And as for the new faces to expect, your Ip Man Donnie Yen, Marco Zoror of Machete Kills, alongside horror's scariest evil clown Bill Skarsgård. Straight out of Japan is hero Yuki Sanada, Rina Sawayama, and others. The trailer shows us Wick will take on the Marquis du Gramont played by Bill Skarsgård, an upstart who wants to introduce new ideas, new rules, and new management to the hidden world of assassins. Director Stahelski also revealed some interesting information about Skarsgård's character in an interview with The Collider, where he said his character's name, his broad name, is The Marquis. The Marquis de Gramo. The Marquis is without giving too much away. I wouldn't say the antagonist, but he's the one in charge of cleaning up all the messes from the first three movies. According to Fishburne, the film will dig deeper into the mythology that surrounds the assassin world. He said, I read the script. It's really, really cool. As much as it's the same world as the other three films, it's just deeper. It's much deeper in terms of the code of the assassin. And the relationship that he has with one character in particular is really the heart and soul of it. Now you can't wait to see the movie. Sadly, you have to wait for more weeks as the film will debut in theaters on March 24. This time, the production will take the action out of New York City, with filming primarily taking place in Berlin and Paris, before additional photography takes place in Japan and New York. Ready for something exciting? An action sequence was also filmed inside the Louvre Museum in France. John Wick Chapter 4 will pick up after the explosive ending to John Wick 3, which saw John completely separated from the assassin organization known as the High Table, to the leadership, John Wick is no longer alive, courtesy of Winston, who shot him off the roof of a building, but actually he's found himself in the care of the Bowery King. Since the beginning of John Wick's journey, the movie time has always increased alongside the pressure. In other words, this chapter is longer than the last. 
John Wick 1 was 1 hour and 41 minutes, the second was 2 hours and 2 minutes, and the third was 2 hours and 10 minutes. This time, we are looking at a whopping 2 hours, 49 minutes with credits. That's almost 3 hours. The longer the better, yeah? One thing that we all want to know is what will happen to John in the end. Will the movie have a happy ending? While John may survive all this problem, a happy ending is not guaranteed. Stahelski said concerning that question, Honestly, I challenge you right now. Here's a question to you. How do you effing want me to end it? Do you think he's going to ride off into the effing sunset? He's killed 300 effing people and he's just going to walk away? Everything's okay? This only suggests at a point we might have to say our goodbyes to John Wick. Now I am a bit sad. But hey, there's hope for another chapter. There's also been a hint about John Wick 5, which Keanu Reeves said the audience's response will be the determinant. According to him, they have been able to produce these movies because people love them. So if y'all like this fourth chapter, we might be seeing another chapter of John Wick soon. In the meantime, start your countdown to March 24, and let's feast. Thanks for tuning in to Interta Gaming. We hope you enjoyed our latest episode and had as much fun watching as we did making it. If you want to stay up to date on the latest gaming news and reviews, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. And if you have any suggestions or feedback for us, let us know in the comments below. Until next time, keep gaming and stay entertained.